Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. This came at a good time. It really did. I was up, I was up late last night. I was actually looking... I was looking up at the sky, I was doing a little bit of stargazing, and I was getting all philosophical. I was, I was just looking up, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder what Jamal Murray gets when he goes to KFC. I couldn't stop thinking about it. The thoughts just plagued me. They wouldn't go away. It didn't matter what I would do. It didn't matter what I would try to think about. It didn't matter. The thoughts, they just wouldn't stop. And then, today, what did KFC do? They released the Jamal Murray meal. And now, finally, I am at peace. And I finally know the answer. And I know I'm not the only one that was wondering this, either. Finally, I know. I know for sure. I mean, they've, they've verified. This is what he gets when he goes to KFC. And I know for sure they wouldn't dare just make something up just to sell more of a certain item that maybe wasn't selling all that well. Of course not. This is what he gets, 100%. So for a limited time, you could pay practically the same price that this combo would usually cost, but now you could have the satisfaction of knowing that Jamal Murray gets this too, at least on occasion, and I think that makes it worth it, 100%. So here's what he gets. Here's what you could get, too, if you decide to. You can get a 12-piece of their chicken nuggets, a biscuit, their secret recipe, fries. You can get a medium. They call this a starry drink. It's a new citrus blend. And you could also get it with Jamal Murray's favorite dipping sauces. He really likes the Buffalo Ranch and the Classic Ranch dipping sauces, which I ordered with this, but they didn't include it. So there's your, your typical 2023 fast food experience for you. But nonetheless, it was on the receipt and everything. I, I, I ordered this as is, exactly as it's advertised. They even have a little deal on the website. You just click it. It makes it real easy. But they did not include the dipping sauces, alas. But I try to just show it as it is, you know, as, as I received it. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's available at the price of $11. And again, you get the nuggets, you get the fries, you get the biscuit, the drink, the dipping sauces, which again, I didn't get in my case. Uh, but most importantly, you get the satisfaction of knowing that this is what he would get too. And, uh, and that's most important. And, you know, I'm going to try this out. A very quick review, because I've reviewed all of this before. I don't know if I've tried the drink before. I'll try that, definitely. But I'll, I'll try everything out, do a little bit of a sampler. And we'll see how this is. And that'll be that. But really just going to see... Uh, how does the meal come together? Is it any good? How is it for the price, etc.? But again, realistically, I have reviewed all of this before, so I would highly encourage you to check out my reviews, especially for the nuggets. I did probably a 15-20 minute long video just about the nuggets, so I would really encourage you to check that out uh, for more information on that. You know, when I saw in the bag that the sauces weren't there, my eyes started watering up, and I was about ready to cry. But I thought to myself, you know, what would Jamal Murray do if, if he ordered his favorite meal and uh, the sauces that he likes weren't there, right? What would, what would he do? How would he handle that? And I didn't know. You know, I, I have no idea. But at the very least, that got me thinking about that rather than the fact that the sauces weren't there, so that made it a little more bearable. Anyway, there's the fries, seasoned and crispy. 
And the nuggets, these are their fried nuggets. They're white meat, chicken, lightly seasoned, breaded, fried of course. I have tried these out before and I enjoyed them. I liked the nuggets actually. I know I could kind of be silly with these sorts of meals because it's just repackaging what they already have, but there's the biscuit. Nonetheless, I did enjoy them. And then the drink. There is no special branding, I should add. Uh, there's really nothing unique to this whatsoever, aside from the fact that there's a little button on their website that says this is, this is his pick, I think they called it. And that's really it. So there's going to be no special branding or any of that, and the price is pretty much the same. I do believe, though, that there was some sort of online promotion where I think you could pay a dollar and enter some sort of raffle, and you could win like an autographed leather jacket or, or something like that uh, of his or something to that extent, but that was about it. Nonetheless, I'm going to try this out real quick and just see if the standards are being maintained, if it's as good as I remember it being. And then that will be that. So first and foremost, let's try out the nuggets. I will be reviewing this, or rating it, I should say, as a total meal, conceptually and quality-wise. So there's the nugget. And now I'm going to try it out. So the chicken nugget going in. It's a shame, though, about the dipping sauce, as it is. It's, uh, it's something that it comes with, and obviously, I, you know, it's not fully complete, but I ordered it as, as is, and, uh, and this is merely what I receive. I am pleased to say, though, that quality-wise, and again, check out my previous review for their nuggets for a much more detailed assessment, but I will say, and it wasn't that long ago when I tried out their nuggets, it was only a couple months ago, as a matter of fact, I am pleased to say, though, that their nuggets, quality-wise, are just as good as I remember them being. They're juicy, they're flavorful, you can still taste. They're very flavorful, and of course their trademark blend of the herbs and spices on the breading, but again, very tender, it's juicy, it's flavorful on the inside. The outside, texturally speaking, has a nice little crunch to it. Some nice flavor as well. And this is one of those items, thankfully at least in this case, while the dipping sauce would have been quite nice, uh, I will add, it's one of those items where thankfully it is still flavorful enough on its own uh, that the sauce is not absolutely essential. There are some things where you need the sauce for it to be even enjoyable. In this case, it's not one of those. It holds up just fine on its own and the nuggets are of good quality. When I reviewed them a couple months ago, I gave the nuggets an 8.8 .8 out of 10, and I would say they maintained that standard. Uh, the nuggets are surprisingly good. I enjoy them, and uh, those are totally fine. Good quality. Feeling a little thirsty, so I'll wash it down with some of the starry drink. It's refreshing. Lightly carbonated, not, not overwhelmingly so, but it's lightly carbonated. And I would say it predominantly, it has a very strong citrus note. I would say mostly along the lime sort of, um, sort of aspect. Has a little bit of lemon though, but again, mostly uh, sort of like a lime flavor to it. But it's just, it's, I think it's the right balance of sort of that lime flavor and sweetness as well. Um, but I would say that it's refreshing, and it does complement, uh, as a matter of fact, and it kind of helps offset 
any sort of oiliness that the nuggets themselves may possess. So that's good. Starry drink is a pleasant, light refreshment. I would describe it as being. Their fries, I did a whole review for these as well. So again, you could check that out too. Their original or secret recipe fries. It's a heavily guarded secret, I should add, just in case you get any ideas. Try those out. I reviewed these back in 2020 or so. Nice balance to them as well. Not tiny little shoestring fries or anything like that, nor are they extremely thick cut. I would say good as far as the size is concerned. Nice crisp on the outside. Flavorful, lightly salted. Uh, these, though, I would say are definitely a little more reliant on a dipping sauce than the nuggets are. So that's especially where I think a dipping sauce would really be useful in this case. And then finally, take a bite out of the, the biscuit. That one's all right. I've had better, to be honest. It's uh, it's not all that flavorful. You really can't uh, more dry than anything else. Definitely, I'm sure a lot of folks would prefer to put some butter or what have you on it. I've definitely had better biscuits, though, and uh, I feel like it's probably been sitting out a while. But nonetheless, as far as the main aspects of the meal are concerned, again, the fries are all right. The nuggets, most importantly, are good. I like the drink. Biscuit is a little iffy, and I wish that the sauces were there, which unfortunately were omitted. But in the end, as far as a meal is concerned, I would say that it is still a complete meal. In my opinion, the most important aspects taste good. Uh, as far as the marketing is concerned, though, that is disappointing. There's absolutely nothing special about this, uh, except for the fact that they've pretty much said that this is the Jamal Murray meal. Uh, there's no sort of aspect to this whatsoever that would even make anyone, even if you are the, the biggest sports fan there is, make you even think that this has anything to do with him. So that's disappointing. Obviously, they didn't include the sauces, which I mentioned. And $11 still is a bit steep for some nuggets, fries, and a drink for the most part. But nonetheless, you know, it's lacking originality. They forgot one of the uh, important components, uh, but making up for that, the quality of the items, generally speaking, is still all right. Uh, but again, they could definitely improve on some things, so therefore I would be rating the Jamal Mary meal from KFC. Uh, I'm just going to have to give it a 6.4 out of 10, because again, there's really nothing special about it. Uh, as far as inventiveness or creativity is concerned, there's absolutely nothing to this. And they forgot one of the important components, and the biscuit isn't all that good, uh, but keeping the score uh, as high as it is, is the quality of the nuggets, the drink, and uh, the fries are all right, too. So, plus, you could have the satisfaction of knowing now that you were able to get the Jamal Murray meal. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.